uh, I have a raspberry with a hint of cranberry or I have a just a straight blue rasp. One industry left with a sour taste from the budget, vape shops. All of our inventory that we already have in stock, we have to pay tax on that up front. Lawmakers created a new tax on all vape products that Sage Pringle says will put stores out of business. They're going to see our prices compared to online or going to the reservation and, and that's what's going to kill the industry. The majority of new tax dollars will come from businesses, including professional services like lawyers and accountants and large banks and tech companies. Real estate fees on transactions over $1.5 million will be increased as well. The new funding, along with existing tax revenue, will help increase spending on mental health and K-12 schools. Low-income families will now qualify for free college. Washington will become the first state to offer public health care and create long-term care funding thanks to a new payroll deduction. There is a time to be humble, and this is not one of them. <laughs> Following a long and busy weekend, an almost giddy Governor Jay Inslee called the legislator's work epic. He is expected to sign the budget and accompanying policy bills, including removing the limit on how much school districts can raise through levies. And we think it should alleviate the need for the dramatic cuts that most school districts were um, talking about or forecasting. Right the teachers here. union says the additional funding and that the ability to raise money through levies Jack, should slow talk of next? teacher layoffs. Unfortunately, the state had gone too far in restricting that, and all this legislature did was to uh, put back some of that flexibility that they had taken away from the local voters. I think it was a, a pretty good day for the Democratic Party and a pretty bad day for taxpayers. House Republican leader J.T. Wilcox fears property taxes will go up for many. And while the new taxes are supposedly targeted at certain businesses, he says the citizens will pay for them. Everyone is going to pay that because uh, these are businesses that are going to do their best to try to pass that cost on to consumers. Uh, when they can't, it's going to hurt their families. Shortly before midnight last night, lawmakers also approved Initiative 1000, which would bring affirmative action back to the state of Washington. But the opponents were back here at the Capitol this morning filing paperwork to try to get that issue on the November ballot. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.